Hey, I want to talk for a second about Gorilla Grills customer service. That's G R I L A G R I L L Z. Gorilla Grills. Just to take the O out. Gorilla Grills. Um, I bought this in September of 2018. This is the Silverback. I've been extremely happy with it. You guys have watched endless photos and videos of me uh, cooking all sorts of wonderful things on this, and I've had trouble with it here lately. Uh, the problem is me. I went out and I bought some cheap pellets at Walmart that were extremely cheap, mainly because I've been burning Trigger pellets through this, and I found out through their customer service that they say it's okay to use Trigger pellets, but they prefer you not because the Trigger pellets have Adler wood in it, which causes it to burn faster, hotter. Um, it can handle it, but it would rather use the type of pellets that they have for it. The problem is they don't have these uh, pellets available on Amazon. I've reached out to them, I've asked them if they could sell it on Amazon, that would be great. It'd be a lot easier than going through their website. Anyway, um, I was having trouble with this because of those pellets. Those pellets from Walmart were cheap, they had a lot of sawdust in it, and what, how this works is you put the pellets in the little hopper here, it goes down and feeds into an auger, which is like a drill bit that turns, it has a motor on the back, and when it goes through, it, it, it dumps into a little fire pit and burns, and then you get the smoke. Okay, so the problem is, the sawdust was clogging up the pathway between the hopper and the auger. It was literally clogging it up and caking it up so that nothing could feed through it. So when I take it apart, I clean out that sawdust, and it was literally having to chisel it out with a um, screwdriver and, a, and vacuum it out at the same time. Once I got that all taken care of, put it back together, I had to do that, ended up three more times just to get all that sawdust out of there because it was so much of it just hidden in different spots. So anyway, got that done, then I realized I was still having trouble keeping temperature. So I contacted customer service and they're on a limited group of people right now due to the coronavirus. So they said, email us and you know, we'll have technicians take a look at it from their home because we're you know working from home right now, which makes sense. Um, they got back in touch with me. This nice lady helped me, went through steps. We looked at this, we looked at that. Come to find out, she said, you know, take off your circuit board, you know, unplug it, take off your circuit board, which is the, this little front thing with the numbers. Undo those screws, look inside, see if some of the wires may be frayed. When I opened this up, I realized I had a wire that was just tapping on the little fan that's on the back side of the auger. The auger has a, a motor on it with a fan. Well, it was stopping the fan from turning, which was stopping the motor from turning, which was stopping the auger from turning, so nothing was feeding through to the fire pit, causing it to cause fire. I moved everything aside, used zip ties, put it back together. Now it's working fine. I'm gaining temperature like I'm supposed to. Everything's working. So, a big thumbs up to Grilla Grills customer service. Uh, big thumbs up to their company. I like this grill a lot. I was really hoping not to have to go buy a different grill. I'm happy with this grill. Um, the only thing I have a thumbs down about is I wish that they would sell these pellets on Amazon because it makes it a whole lot easier to order since I'm so used to ordering everything with, uh, with prime delivery. So uh, if you guys are watching this, uh, Grilla Grills, please, uh, make your pellets easier to buy. I'm in Florence, South Carolina, and I know you guys are in like Michigan, but uh, it, it would be nice to buy your pellets for this machine. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to rate, review, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, check out the podcast. I'm on there talking a lot. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody.